Hello students, I am Andrea. I will be teaching you science. I hope you are fine, safe, healthy and having nutritious food. In today's class, you will learn an interesting topic in science that is Food we eat, nutrients of food and balanced diet. You can say nutrients of food also as components of food. Now what is food? Food is the basic need of all living beings. We cannot survive without food. Why food is important to us? It gives us energy to do our everyday activities that is walking, running, playing, dancing, etc. It also helps us grow and keeps us healthy. So in this picture, you can see a plate with healthy food. What food you enjoy children? Is it pizzas and burgers? Is it healthy food? No, it is not. In this plate, you can see healthy food. That is chapati, rice, pilau, sambar and buttermilk. All this is healthy food. Is all food in this plate same? No, it is not. It is different. What can you see in this tray? You can see variety of food that is meat, eggs, nuts, vegetables, fruits. All this food is different. We have or eat different kind of food every day. All food in this tray is not same. They are different in taste, appearance and have different kinds of nutrients. How do these nutrients help us? Nutrients give us energy, make our bones and muscles strong. It protects our body from diseases. Do you know the nutrients and components of food? Food is composed of following nutrients and components. They are food, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals, water and roughage. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals are the nutrients. Water and roughage are the components of food. Let us study in detail about the components and nutrients. The first nutrient that we study is carbohydrates. Here are the pictures of the sources of carbohydrates. They are potato, rice, bread, variety of fruits. All this food is rich in carbohydrates. Now how carbohydrates help us? Carbohydrates gives us energy to work and play. Whatever activities that we do, carbohydrates play an important role. Hence, they are known as energy giving food. The next nutrient that you study is fats. Here you can see the sources of fat. They are milk, butter, cheese, oil, ghee, nuts and meat. All this food is rich in fats. How do fats help our body? Fats keep the body warm. What happens when you have excess of fat? Our body can store excess fat for later use. They are also known as energy giving food just like carbohydrates. The next nutrient you learn is proteins. Here are the sources that is meat, fish, pulses, beans, milk, eggs, nuts and cheese are the sources of proteins. How do proteins help our body? 
proteins help build muscles and repair damaged cells and tissues in our body if suppose we have a fall and we get hurt and after few days the wound gets healed it is because of proteins in our food that help damaged cells and tissues to heal they are also known as body building food you can always hear the body builders say that they have protein shake or protein rich food it is because it helps them build muscles and bones growing children need more protein than adults the age group of 6 to 12 should have protein rich food that helps in growth the next nutrient that we learn is vitamins vitamins are the nutrients required in minute quantities here are the sources of vitamins that is milk eggs fish and leafy vegetables how do vitamins help our body vitamins ensure growth and good health there are different types of vitamins they are vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k all these vitamins help our body the next nutrient that we study is minerals minerals are also required in minute quantities just like vitamins here are the sources of minerals that is egg milk fruits and vegetables are the sources of minerals how do minerals help us minerals help in the formation of blood in the development of bone and teeth it also helps in the maintaining the normal heart beat vitamins and minerals help our body fight diseases and maintain good health these minerals and vitamins help the body to protect from various diseases hence they are known as protective food now you know about all the nutrients of food now let us see about the components of food that is water how is the water requirement of our body met do we have water in our body yes we have all our food items that is vegetables fruits and cereals have small quantity of water we also add water by preparing the food and drink adequate of water every day how does water help the body how does water help our body water helps our body to absorb the nutrients present in food whatever food we have it has nutrients and these nutrients are absorbed by water in our body it also helps the body to get rid of toxic waste in the form of urinating here you can see and sweating the next component of food you study is roughage or dietary fiber what is roughage or dietary fiber it is the indigestible portion in our food here in this video you can see the indigestible food passing through the intestine that is known as roughage of dietary fiber here you have the sources of roughage that is pulses whole grains fruits and vegetables in addition 
you have cereals apple muskmelon cabbage rice banana and watermelon all these food are rich in roughage what is the need for roughage it is needed for the smooth movement of food in the food pipe it is also needed for the removal of undigested food and water from the body during defecation what is defecation defecation is the discharge of feces from our body you can see in this video food moving smoothly in the food pipe and here you can see the discharge of undigested food now you studied about all the nutrients and components now you might be thinking how much of nutrients and components you should take so here in this picture you can see a plate with rice chapati sweet dal the food that you have on daily basis is your diet then what is balanced diet is your diet balanced let us see what is balanced diet the food containing nutrients and components in right proportion that is right amount of carbohydrates proteins water minerals vitamins roughage and fat is known as balanced diet a diet that has the right proportion of all the nutrients required to maintain good health is called balanced diet here you can see the pyramid of balanced diet that is large amount of carbohydrates a little less of vitamins and minerals then proteins and less amount of fat what happens if you have lot of pizzas and burgers it is rich in fat it stores in the body in excess and leads to obesity now is the balanced diet that you have and i are same no it is not you should have protein rich food which helps in growth whereas i carbohydrates vitamins and minerals so the balanced diet varies with the age activities gender and health of the person now let us recapitulate whatever we studied in today's class now let us recapitulate whatever you learned in today's class food why food is important to us different components of food that is carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals water and roughage and finally you learned about balanced diet here you have the home assignment sort the given food items and put them in the respective column here is the list of food that is rice milk nuts cheese ghee butter pulses meat fish cereals fruits leafy vegetables eggs and bread so you have to make five columns here naming the nutrients that is carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals and you have to write the food items here under which nutrient it comes for example if i take rice it comes under carbohydrates and one more example if i take is milk it comes under fats proteins vitamins and minerals if it comes under one nutrient then write it under one nutrient if it comes under more than one then write it down under more than one complete this home assignment in your rough book stay home stay safe thank you